is on to the 2019 World Police and Fire Games. Yeah, this year they're going to be held in China, and a couple of Arapahoe County Sheriff's deputies are hoping to bring home some gold. Fox 31's Deborah Takahara here now with this Support the Shield story, Deb. Jeremy, they're called the Olympics for police and firefighters. 40,000 law enforcement officers and firefighters from 80 different countries will be competing in 55 different sports, including a few from Colorado. So I'm going to be a District 2 car today. If you don't see Deputy Mateo Montoya Collis on a traffic stop, yeah, care, be safe. catching bad guys, <laughs> or on a medical call, We're going to be going into trouble breathing. you might see him on the track at Regis High School. Right now I'm in preparation for the World Police and Fire Games. Um, 2019, it's going to be in Chengdu, China. He is representing the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office, Colorado, and the U.S. This year, my focus is going to be on the 100 and the 200 meter. Um, I'm also going to, if the body holds up, do some uh, relays. So the 4x1 and the 4x4. He trains 15 hours a week alongside yeah. some Olympic hopefuls. So you're really just trying to improve for milliseconds. You know, a small fraction of a second to get you ahead. How do they help you on the street? Well, there's, there's a couple ways. Don't try and run. I'll catch you. Uh, that's one. You get to interact with a lot of young kids. And um, sometimes for me, the young kids is one of the reasons why I stay in the profession. Because um, you could actually impact them positively. Deputy Montoya Collis has already won gold, silver, and bronze medals at national championships and previous world police and fire games. Definitely blessed. That is another way I can say it. it's been fun. We got rescued on scene. There is a well known good natured rivalry between police and fire. <laughs> But for this competition, Deputy Montoya Collis is all Team USA. The rivalry kind of goes away. I mean, it's more or less you just want to beat everybody that's, you know, next to you, on the side of you. But uh, it's, uh, I would much rather not lose to a fireman. We'll put it that way. <laughs> well, there are a handful of others from Colorado traveling to China. Those games will begin on August 8th. We'll be sure to keep you posted on how they all do. Deborah Takahara, Fox 31. All right, Deb, thank you very much. And good luck to them as they train yeah. in the sweater because yep. it cannot be easy. True. Yeah, I, I was going to help them train, but as you heard them say, yeah, sometimes the body doesn't hold up. So <laughs> I, I wasn't going to be much help. <laughs> good luck to them. Yeah, yeah, the heat and the humidity. Guys, we got some decent storms out there. And by decent, there are some pockets of nice rain out of these showers, which is always a benefit. Let's get to work with pinpoint weather. Kind of looking across the Mile High City, you can 